Ladies and gentlemen and children of YouTube, yesterday if you saw on Instagram, I just bought the cheapest Nintendo Switch in the world. Do it! Maybe it's not the cheapest in the world. That's just a clickbait title. But I paid 150 bucks for this. I feel like that was a pretty good deal. It's the great Nintendo Switch. Came with the controllers. Doesn't look like it's in too bad of shape. They were asking $200 at the pawn shop here. So that would come out to about $216 with the 8% tax. We negotiated down to 150 out the door. Let me know if you think that's a good deal. It also came with a uh, USB-C OEM Nintendo Switch car charger. It did not come with a dock. It did not come with a wall charger, but I also didn't have to pay retail price. I've been wanting to get a Switch for a while. I did flick it open to see if I had any games in it. Did not have any games. However, it does have the 64 gigabyte SanDisk and a Zelda licensed Nintendo Switch micro SD card. As soon as she pulled it out, I told her, oh, you guys are gonna have to do better on the price. There's a crack in the screen. But if you can see very closely, it's not a crack in the screen. It's a crack in the glass screen cover. So at least the previous owner took care of this enough to put a screen cover on it. it. Boots up just fine. Everything seems to be working on it. The previous owner played Mario Kart 8, NBA 20K 16, Splatoon 2. I did check the firmware. It is a 6.2.0. It's not upgraded to 7.0. So I think that might add a little bit of value to it because people do hack these. So all said and done, I am hoping to make 50 to $75 profit if I don't decide to keep it. But yeah, that is the Nintendo Switch. If you think I got a good deal, let me know about it in the comments section below. If you think I got ripped off and I'm an idiot, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. I couldn't get it with the gloves on, but basically it's a piece of glass that is pressed, oops, and it's like really breaking. That took the brunt of the force and the glass Ugh. Needed to be removed anyways. And the glass is what was broken right here. Not the actual screen. So that's, you gotta little, know a little bit more about products than the pawn shops do. Cause that's one of the reasons they came down on the price. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Instagram here at the College Picker. We are constantly updating our stories there, showing people live deals in the trenches, in the pawn shops, dirty diapers in the parking lot and everything. Lots of good deal content. This is what you deal with when you deal with pawn shops. Freaking dirty diapers in the parking lot, it's so gross.